across the Gunfleet wind farm. I see the others are on the, I think all the others are on the other side of the wind farm. I've stayed on the outside. So it's getting a bit late for me to make it across the uh, Swatchway. So uh, I've stayed out here. Uh, I'm on reduced revs. Uh, having a few cooling problems. But I'm still making progress, so I'm, I'm hopeful I'll get there in the end. Uh, if it all goes pear shaped, I'll just end up up the, uh, up the crash and in the roach. Uh, so I've got a backup plan, which is always a, a good thing. Uh, yeah, it's been a lovely day. Uh, wind, wind's dropped away now and again, but uh, then it picks up. So, not variable. But, uh, sun, sunshine, sunshine all the way. Yeah, hopefully I'll be... Uh, be in the marina this evening. Just keep plodding on.
well I'm here off of uh, walking on the Nays. I'm trying to get back to the Medway by, uh, by Thursday. Uh, today is Tuesday, midday. Uh, I'm flogging the tide, going uh, nowhere very fast. I was hoping to be using the engine, uh, but I've got uh, what I presume to be is a water pump issue. Overheating, and there's a bit of a, bit of a noise coming from uh, what I think is the water pump. So I don't want to knacker it completely because uh, I'll need the engine for manoeuvring to get onto my boy. So I can't run the engine all the way back, so I'm under sail only. But there's not much wind. Uh, but it could be a lot worse. Uh, I've just had the forecast, and the forecast is quite favourable. Um, it's not going to be quick. I don't know, it might take me till, uh, well, I don't know. It might take me till midnight. But, uh, it could be what? I don't know. I'm just going to soldier on, uh, drink coffee, keep awake. Uh, the only other issue I've got is that I'm on hand steering because my uh, autopilot's conked out, so that's another issue, which is not good. Uh, yeah, I'll cope with that okay. Um, it'll keep me awake if nothing else. Okay, I have spent all afternoon and it's now five o'clock in the afternoon. I've been walking on the nays, still just there. Uh, there's no wind whatsoever. Absolutely, completely becalmed. Uh, couldn't get the engine to go above tick over without overheating. All black smoke coming out the back, and it's, things were looking a bit dire, to be honest with you. Uh, anyway, I thought I'd have another little look at the engine, and I looked at the uh, impeller, that seemed fine. I thought I'd have another look at the intake, and that seemed like a bit of a dribble. So I got the pipe, and I blew back down the pipe, and uh, that seemed to have uh, cleared out what was in there. A uh, lot more water coming through, cooling, black smoke's gone, revs are up. And things are looking an awful lot better. Uh, still haven't got any autopilot, but I think I can live with that. Uh, and now I'm actually making some progress. It's getting up to slack water, so I'll have the tide with me. And uh, yeah, cracking on now. Let's just hope. Let's just hope that uh, things stay good. Well, I got here to uh, Stangate Creek, left Ipswich 9 o'clock in the morning. I got here, I think it's about quarter to two. So it was a fair old day yesterday. I really slept well last night. Uh, yeah, so basically I was off of, uh, off of walking on the Nays for, oh, well, it seemed like all afternoon, but I suppose it was about three hours, four hours. Just fighting the tide with the engine on low revs, just just not getting anywhere. In fact, I was going backwards at a couple of points. Uh, then I worked out how to get the engine going a bit quicker by blowing back down the inlet pipe and clearing it out. All the weed or whatever it was that was uh, getting jammed up there. Then I made some progress. Uh, got across the spitway, uh, I think it was about 7 o'clock in the evening, um, there was plenty of water and I had a, a trawler go over in front of us who was fishing, I thought well that's local knowledge, he knows where to get across, so I followed him over the spitway, uh, then I was across the Whitaker and then uh, down the East Swing 
uh, as there's the sun set. Uh, then the wind picked up from the southwest, which uh, wasn't helpful. I got off uh, Blacktail Spit and it started blowing quite stiff. Oh, I suppose it must have been about four or five. Um, raining. Uh, it was absolutely miserable. The boat's going like this and not getting anywhere fast. Uh, then I was thinking, shall I go up the swale? By the time we got over there, you might as well come over here. So I carried on. Um, as luck would have it, the rain passed and the wind eased back off again. Uh, sea smoothed off. Uh, got over to Sheerness, okay, go at some point. Uh, then I had the tide against me again because it had turned turned by then and that was a bit of a slow slog to here. But it's only a couple of miles so it's, uh, it wasn't so bad. Uh, so I anchored about quarter to two in the morning. Uh, pretty much straight to bed. Yeah, it was a, a long and fairly eventful day. Uh, hardly any sailing. Uh, a little bit. When it, uh, well, if it came with the wind come up and it was in my favour, I think I could get something out of it. I did. Uh, now I'm going to pick up the anchor heading. All ready for the end of the week and the celebrations for the wedding. That'll be good. <laughs>